Well, hello again, my friends, and welcome to another amazing and goosebump-inspiring broadcast of Jacob's Letter. Was that a little weird? I'm just excited to be here. I'm glad that you're all here in the live chat. We already got a lot of people here. Make sure you smash that like button so that we can get started. What a show. Look at that thumbnail. How insane does that look? Well, of course, the Simpsons, they seem to predict everything, right? So maybe I have a little bit of information to share about the Simpsons and Lord Jacob Rothschild, who passed away on 226. That's right, that day which we learned on the previous broadcast meant a sign, a miracle, a mark, a witness. A marking post in the road to tell you God is in control. I'm excited. Did you know that he died? Very much uh, it's connected to all of these eclipses. And if you look at the thumbnail, you'll see right away. It's from the very first eclipse that we talked about many moons ago. Back in 2017, he passed away six months, six weeks, and six days from that eclipse. Now, the next eclipse that's coming, and I got a big show on that one. Oh boy, you're excited. I'm excited. I can't wait to share it. But all these other things keep getting in the way. When he dies to that one, six weeks. Something about that 666 and all of that spooky nonsense that everybody's freaked out about. Now listen, I'm not going to get you scared today. I'm going to get you excited. Because this is the part of the story where Israel is set free from Egypt, the monetary system goes on its head, and Israel, that means God's people, you don't have to literally be Jewish or anything else, you probably wouldn't know if you were part of the family unless you're watching right now. And you're an Israelite, L-I-G-H-T, and I'm glad that you're here. Do me a favor, check to make sure you're still subscribed. This is what I hear. I hear that people are getting unsubscribed. It happens. What are you going to do? Am I going to get stressed about it? No, because we have all of these wonderful signs happening. The eclipse that's coming up in April, April 8th, he passed away six weeks before that. Now, you think that that's strange. I think it's strange. But this Rothschild, by the way, Rothschild, you know what Roth means? Yeah. Roth's child. Roth means red-haired. Now, we've talked a lot about red hair on the show, right? He saw Jacob's uh, twin brother, the, the, uh, the flipped version, the reverse version, the carnal to the spiritual, the first, not the last, means red. Esau was ruddy, hairy all over. The first Adam, Adam, one of the, uh, one of the actual definitions for Adam, besides it being mankind as a whole, is ruddy red. Jacob means supplanter. It's the one that takes over from the one that is in charge. Could be some people look at it as a bad thing. Some people look at it as a good thing. It just depends on what is supplanting what. And what's happening right now is the corrupt version, the worldly version, we'll say the Jacob Rothschild version, as opposed to the spiritual Jacob Israel version, is happening in the world. And at such a time as this. But there's so many other things that are connected to this that it's just, I had to come on here. And I have a show that I'm going on at 3 o'clock. I'm going Truth Seekers show. It's going to be cool. Hope you all check it out. But this is uh, this is big news. I, it, they really were just, they were making it sound like this guy's a saint. All of the wonderful money that he's given to people, especially the 66 M million to Jewish causes for arts and entertainment. Lord Rothschild. You know, I always had I always had a problem with people that had titles. I was never a big title guy. You know, the Bible says you shouldn't have titles. You shouldn't be like a uh, you know like a bishop or a father. You know, the scriptures say that you should call no man father besides the Lord. That's, that means when it comes to spiritual things. So if you go to church and you say, oh, hello, Father, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Even though, you know, the apostles and everything else, they did things like they were fathers of the faith, if you will. And they were spiritual fathers, if you will. But you shouldn't have anybody guiding you but your creator. 
the one that wants you to ask for the truth and uh, no matter what the cost and come into a relationship where you've been stolen from your whole life, you've been a debt slave your whole life, but now the system's flipped on its head. The McDonald's M is now the McDonald's W, which by the way, the W, Kim Shady on um, X pointed this out to me. That, 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 that's the lowercase omega sign. That's the end. You know, we've talked about omega quite a bit on the show. There's so many weird signs. Now, this stuff with Jacob Rothschild. Whew, I hope. Oh, we have a lot of people here. Hit the like. Hit the like. Don't forget to do that. That's, uh, that's an important thing. Hit the like right now. And uh, hopefully after you watch this show, you're going to be just so weirded out by all the coincidence. And guess what? Go figure. It looks like... 66 weeks and six days ago, I did a show kind of saying that this was going to happen. Very weird. Because we knew that the corrupt system, if they'd be corrupt, we knew 2024 was the year. If you're new to the channel, let me know in the live chat. I'm happy you're here. Thank you for the super chat, Richard. That's another thing, too. I appreciate everybody that does everything they can to support. It's a big deal. So, Lord Rothschild, that's usually the first giveaway that you probably, you know, you probably shouldn't call yourself the Lord. <laughs> you know, you probably shouldn't. But they call him our father, Jacob. He was a towering presence in so many people's lives. He was superbly accomplished financier, a champion of the arts and culture. Yeah, he liked a lot of those spooky paintings, too. There's a great famous picture I'll show you a little later where he's uh, with... You know, Marina, the uh, the spooky sorceress, <laughs> who like, considers herself an, an, an artist who had, like, Lady Gaga doing all sorts of weird things at her camp, walking around in the nude, doing all sorts of... It's very interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Connie, thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you as well. Just, your son's four, four-year-old birthday. Four is a very significant number in the show. Did you know that Lord... The Rothschild was like the fourth baron. This is the fourth. This is the fourth. It's a big deal. The fourth is a big deal. You know, the fourth quarter makes a dollar. <laughs> it's the end. It's the last quarter. This is uh, this is really interesting. Did you know that a couple of days ago, everybody was up in arms. They didn't know what was going on. They thought to themselves, oh, there's something spooky going on. There were like some horses. There were horses, and the horses were like, I'm going to keep this mute so you can't really tell. But the horses, In the middle of the mouth, no, they were saying, oh, this is historic. It's never happened it's before. Oh, now. my goodness. They didn't understand why these two black horses and this see. one this white horse. The They're like, why is this here? The king is supposed to be color. here. And one of them was, now, was like, had an rare. empty boot. See the empty boot? See the empty see boot it. that he's carrying oh. right there? Look it's at Jacob doing a good job of, of, of revealing all this wacky stuff. The boot. Do you know what the boot symbolizes? Hopefully, I, I muted it. Let me turn this off. The the the, uh, the 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 boot symbolizes someone who has passed away, someone who is dead. Now that's very strange, right? The empty boot. Now I don't know if this is for sure the uh, the the meaning of this, but he's also carrying a trumpet and he's also carrying that flag that has been covered. So, so a flag has been taken down, if you will, and that's eerie. This is, as this guy was saying, Paul Polo Tick, Ticko Tock, um, was saying, this is something that nobody expected. Something that's very strange. Something very strange indeed. Rothschild dies. And all the memes, they went to crazy. That's... uh. That's uh, Biff Don over there. Biff Don, he's, uh, he has a lot of interesting things to share. You should check him out if you get a chance. But he put out, you know, that famous meme where death is trying to pull something out. And I thought that that was pretty funny because what that tells me in the meme war that's going on, it says that, oh, Soros is bad. But then like, holy crap, I got a Rothschild. That's got to really bum out his family. You know, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't that bum out your family? You know, everybody thinks that you're, uh, you're the patriarch of your family is, uh, you know, someone that is not that great. The fourth Baron, number four, happy birthday, four-year-old. That's right, everybody, smash that like. We got like a thousand people here already. Wow, that's great. I appreciate it. Yeah, smash it. 
Smash it. 87 years old, the banking era is over. The British head of the Rothschild Empire dies. And people everywhere are like, woohoo! We've seen a lot of weird stuff going on in the uh, finance world. We've seen a lot of, this is what I said, if they'd be corrupt 2023 into 2024, we saw the stuff with Sam Bankman freed. And I told everybody, I said, it is the bank man is going to be fried because they've been corrupt. They've been corrupt. You pay tax on this. You pay tax on that. You pay tax to pay tax to pay tax to pay tax. Can't even go fishing without a license. Got to pay tax on that. Got to pay for your license. Debt slaves. We are even given a number when we came in here. How kooky is that, right? How kooky is that? Rhonda Peters, you tell me how kooky that is. And thank you for the super chat. Kooky. It's all weird. It's all weird. But it's about to get really, really, really much weirder. People look at the Rothschilds and, you know, there's like pictures going around where, you know, the other Rothschild, the one that just passed away before his brother, where he's like kind of pointing at King Charles. He's now king. You know, Mr. Balloon Hands. He's got big, big balloon hands. Guy who's related to Dracula. Vlad the Impaler. Literally blood, blood relative. But these people, I'm sure. I'm sure everything's good. You know, he's got some issues too. He's got some issues too. Looks like um, we're having a little bit of an issue with this, but let me, uh, let me, hopefully we're back on track. I had a feeling that this might be one of those shows where things go a little kooky. Let me know in the live chat if you hear everything okay, if you see everything okay, it's a good thing because it's happening. A shift is happening. My last show, I talked about the shift. I talked about the shift that was happening. And a cult bot just yesterday. He's a big, uh, big, big, you know, channel on X. Says a shift has happened. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah, we feel it, right? We feel it, right? Who feels it? I feel it. Tell me in the live chat. Thank you, Canny. I appreciate that. The birthday boy's name is Thiago. Oh, that's a great name. You got to let everybody know in the live chat what that means. The flip, the switch. That was my last show. Everything being flip-flopped because of the McDonald's logo. Wick, Wick Donald's now. After I did that show, I was blown away to find out that Fannie Willis, news was going around, you know Fannie Willis, you know Fannie Willis, she's all the, uh, all the rage with her and the Trumpster, it's almost like it's like a big show, everybody's really enjoying the show, she's really silly, she's putting on a great, she's putting on a great act, I don't know if she's acting, what I mean is she's giving us a lot of great content, she's giving us a lot of great material, she was wearing her dress backwards, her dress was backwards. This literally happened after I talked about how everything was going to go upside down, back, backside up, upside down, flip flop. Everybody's flip flop, flip flopping, flip flopping, flip flopping. And then I found out that Japan's moon lander, not only our moon lander, but Japan's moon lander landed on the moon upside down on its head. Flip flop, the switch. Everything's being flipped on its head, people. This is what God promised. He said he's going to restore the years that the Palmer worm and the locusts have stolen from you. This is the day. This is the day we're in. I know it doesn't feel like we're going to win. I know it doesn't feel like things are going to get great. It's going to, it's going to get bad for a lot of people, but it's going to get great for the people that have been towing the line, been doing the right thing, been loving, taking care of people, forgiving people. Trusting in more than their circumstance. Believe me, this morning I woke up. You know, I have the Crohn's disease. In and out of the hospital for years. My goodness, I can't tell you how many times I, like, lived in the ICU when I was younger. My friends used to try to sneak me in, like, alcohol and stuff. And I never would drink. But when I was in the ICU, they'd, they'd come in when I was in the hospital. You know, because this would be a normal occurrence. I'd go to, you know, somebody's house or whatever, and then I'd find I'm bleeding. And I'd end up in the hospital for like another couple of weeks. Bleeding was like a big thing. I hemorrhaged, I don't know how many times. S scary, scary, scary. Almost uh, Stony Brook Hospital out here. It was uh, almost bled out. And I knew what the problem was. And I had to be taken with an ambulance to another hospital where I, they would actually do what I asked for. Strange. This morning I wake up, I got blood. I got blood. And I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? But I'm old. Every year, 50 year old, or I'm 52, I'm going to be 53. But everybody who's around 50 or so knows sometimes you get a, 
this took a weird turn, right? This took a little weird turn. Everybody gets their little bloody poop every once in a while, right? It happens, but I was stressed. I was worried about the, you know, I was thinking the fear, the worst case scenario. And then I said, nah, it's going to be fine. And it turned out it is fine. Turned out it is fine. Yeah, it's probably a fisher. A fisher. You know what a fisher is? Don't look it up. It'll gross you out. It'll gross you out. Hey, these are the joys of Crohn's disease and, you know, other things. You know, hey, at least I'm not hanging out with uh, people and going to art exhibits where I'm eating people that are like covered in what looks like, you know, what looks like blood, which is what, you know, Marina Rothschild's bud over here in front of uh, Lucifer, the painting of Lucifer, Satan summoning his legions. It's actually not even Lucifer, it's Satan summoning his legions by Thomas Lawrence. Big famous, very big famous painting. And there you have Rothschild with Marina, the sorceress. Isn't that right, Ali in Wonderland? Isn't that right? It's weird. It's weird. You know, this is the picture you decide the whole internet should see you in front of. And you wonder why people are doing memes where they're, you know, death is pulling you out and making it like it's a great thing. Now, here's weird, right? I, as I said earlier, there's the actual dates from that first eclipse to when he passed away, 226, which McDonald said it was happening. The flip is happening. And it's exactly six years, six months, six days, including the end day. And then to when he passes away, six weeks. That to me is like, I got to look deeper. I got to look deeper, right? I got to look deeper because that's what you do. You pull these threads. I get these little breadcrumbs. I get these little ideas. I get these little ideas and I, and I go and I'm like, I didn't I do his show, you know? And then I think to myself, I think, oh, you know what? I bet you the Simpsons, Mr. Burns, you know, Mr. Burns. You know, Mr. Burns, everybody says he's based on Rothschild. Now, the, the creators say no, but my goodness, they look alike, Mr. Burns, right? Now, I think to myself, Simpsons supposedly predict everything. They're like time travelers or something, right? How many things do they see in the predict? I go, they gotta have Rothschild dying. I said, Mr. Burns has to die in some kind of an episode. This is where the show gets so incredibly freaky and so weird. So weird. So weird that my buddy was telling me you're chasing phantoms. He's like, there's no connection here. I'm like, there's no connection. You wait, you tell me if there's a connection. So I look up the episode and guess what the episode is called? It's called Burns's Air. Burns's Air? What? What? Because of course I did a show 66 weeks and six days ago about burnt hair, about how God is going to bring judgment to this corrupt banking system. I did. I did. I'll show you. I'll prove it. I think, oh my goodness, burnt hair. I'm like, Elon must be in on something. He, there's some kind of secret war maybe going on. Once again, I'm a speculator. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't take anything I say as like knowledge of anything legitimate. I just have ideas. I speculate. I witness things. I look at things and I say, hey, maybe this is it. I pull on a string. Next thing you know, whew, I got like a, I got like a ball of this weird yarn that I can't wait to share with you. If you're a cat, you're going to play with it. You're going to be like this. You're gonna be like hitting that ball, ball of yarn. Burns hair is the 18th episode the 18th episode of the fifth season of American animated television series, The Simpsons. It originally aired on Fox, 1994, April 14th. That date is important because, of course, I use that date to look up to see if, hey, is there any connection to, to what happened today? 1994, is there any connection? And I do a little dates in between calendar. And I look it up, and it's exactly 10,911 days. It's got the 911. The 911 in there. And you're saying to yourself, well, that's cool, Jacob, but it's 10 911. <laughs> Hold on to your horses if you have horses, especially ones that don't have a boot. Like an empty boot means somebody died. They were honoring him because they knew he was going to die or whatever. Maybe. Maybe not. 
but it's weird because of course the the uh, the powers that be, we'll say the computers that are behind the scenes, they were pushing it so that everybody saw it. Who saw it? Everybody in the live chat. You got to tell me if you saw it. You got to see it. Burns air. So what happens is he has a near death experience and it prompts him to find an air. Burns air. The wicked man has to look for someone who's going to inherit all of his wealth. That sounds a lot like the story of Israel being set free from Egypt. Someone is telling me in the chat that um, infinite love, you're saying the super chat's not working. Don't worry about it. It may not be working for you. I mean, there's other ways that you can all support the channel. You can either just hit the like button, you can share, you can subscribe, make sure you watch all the things and leave a comment. If you want, you can get yourself a copy of my novel, which is, you know, it's, it was a bestseller. The thing's amazing for, for new releases. I'd like it to be a bestseller overall, but it's like one of the best books you'll probably ever read. You can do that. You can get yourself some merch. You go into the links in the description below, trulyfreehome.com. That's my sponsor. Stop buying stuff that's going to poison your family. Start saving money and doing stuff that's good for the environment. Go to trulyfreehome.com. Enter code Jacob. Get your soaps and dishwashers stuff and laundry detergent and all sorts of other things. Use code Jacob. You get 30% off. All right. So 911 days burns. They do look alike, right? Okay. Is, is this a, tell me if you think that this is a little bit of a stretch because I don't think it is because I think it's going to get a, a little freakier for you in a second. So I put up yesterday, you'll see at the bottom of the page, you'll see Elon put out that burnt hair sent by singed. Now, if you look at the left-hand side, you'll see like I put together a little montage of picture. The guy to the right with the tape on his mouth, we're going to shut this guy up. His name is Singed. Singed was like a chemical, alchemicalist, an alchemicalist. He created like all sorts of potions and stuff. And he was called upon to bring an end to a war. And he did it through use of like devastating chemical stuff. It was like a terrible thing, but he looks a lot like Rothschild. Now, what's weird about this is uh, the fact that he put that post out exactly 17 months before Rothschild dies. Now, you know, 17, the letter 17 in the alphabet. You know what it is. It's the spooky letter that everybody gets freaked out about, that everybody's saying, you know, the Trumpster's connected to. It's like the supposedly the... Uh, I don't know, the uh, the system that's in charge of everything releasing all of these little clues for you. I don't put my faith in it. But still, that number is very significant, very interesting. So I put this post out. I said 17 months before Rothschild dies, Elon posts burnt hair. Burnt hair burns air. Come on. Burnt hair burns air? That's... To me, to me, and I could be wrong, to me that feels significant. It feels like, it feels like something huge just happened. It feels like maybe when I said the shift has happened, maybe the shift has happened. And maybe we're going to start to see even more. Because when Jesus flips the tables, he comes against the monetary system. He sees everybody. He walks into the temple of God and he realizes, oh my goodness, you've turned my father's house into a den of thieves. People everywhere are stealing from us. We're the temple of God. They've turned the temple of God into a marketplace where we buy and we sell and we're used and taxed. Am I burning your ears out? I get excited because I know where this is all going. I get excited. But one day, even Mr. Burns realizes it's over. And then he has to find an heir. And who does he find? You're going to like this. Bart. Because he admires the creature of pure malevolence. 
He wants to give his money to somebody he thinks is bad, but we all know Bart. Bart's not bad. He's misunderstood and devious. It's a little bit of a trickster, Bart. It's a little bit of a trickster. So, I think this is too weird. 666 this way, 6 that way. I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to have to look up that video that I did about the financial system being flipped on its head. And I do. And from today, it's 66 weeks and six days. It's very strange. Very strange. Worship their egod or else there's more to this FTX scandal than you know. And oh my goodness, is there. Is there. Linda Walker, I love your passion too. I do get excited. I hope you all get excited. I hope you do me a favor and I hope you hit the like button. These little things you do, they make things better. They make things better. You hit the like. It doesn't mean like, it doesn't seem like it's a lot. It doesn't seem like it's a lot. I know. And it's like, oh, you haven't earned my like. Well, if you watch me more than one, will you do it for me? It's like, I would do it for you. Will you share it? Will you just hit share? Put it to your socials? By the way, everybody on X, um, who is part of the Patreon, I'm going to be doing a show, like a, a dream interpretation show or something. People have been asking for it over at Patreon. And I'm going to have people call in through X. So if you're uh, if you're on X and you're interested in that and you're connected to Patreon, let me know in Patreon um, because I want to start setting that up because I found out that I can, you know, I don't have to get like a, a number or anything. I can just do it through X. So that makes it easier because, you know, X is where everything's going, right? Everybody knows that, right? This is going to be the only place where you're going to be able to do business. Unless, of course, something else happens. This <laughs> is the direction it's going. You, you don't shoot the messenger. I didn't come up with the idea. Elon can do no wrong, it seems, you know, no matter what happens. You know, let's just, let's pray and hope. Because, God, you know, when God flips the switch, he uses powerful people to do it. Burn hair. So. I do this video, you take a look at it, you see obviously mind control. We have all been mind controlled. You see all the witches in the background. That's because this is all witchcraft. You know it. You know it is. I mean, like, without a shadow of a doubt, it is. Thank you so much, Infinite Love, for that super chat. That was beautiful. I appreciate it. Oh, good grief. I, you know, we all get by with a little help from our friends. We do. I love you all so much. So I did this video 66 weeks, six days ago. You got to listen to it. You got to listen to it. I put it up on X and um, I, 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 oh, before we do that, why don't we listen to Rothschild saying how he keeps it in the family? This is another one of Biff Don's posts. This is good stuff. This is uh, because a lot of people say the reason why they don't look so great is because they inbreed. You know, that was a very simple a, a thing that they would do back in the day is that they would inbreed. Now the Rothschilds are like married to the Hiltons. I think like one of them's married to uh, Paris Hilton's sister. All right, t let's just take a listen to this. Aaron James was head of the Paris branch and the youngest of the five sons of our actual Rothschild gave an astonishingly uninhibited description of the 19th century Rothschild policy of keeping it in the family. He does look like Mr. Burns, right? I mean, I'm not making up stories here, right? I'm not making up stories here. Thank you for what he read and make you smile. In our family, we've always tried to keep love in the family. <laughs> in this sense, it was more or less understood since childhood that children would never think of marrying outside the family so that our fortune would never leave it. <laughs> How weird is that, huh? How weird is that? Of course, we're going to keep it in the family. Little Jimmy, come over here and meet Cousin Lisa. We're going to marry you. Oh, don't pay attention to the child if they have ten, ten fingers on one hand and six toes on the other foot. Don't pay attention to any of that. Got to keep the bloodline pure. And maybe they have been. Maybe they have been for a long time. And that got me thinking when I was bleeding this morning. See? There's a reason I was telling you about my poop. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my God, what if I get a transfusion? 
all that stuff, leaving my job because I knew the mandates were coming. All these things I did mean nothing. Mean nothing if I get the blood transfusion. Because I got a lot of transfusions in the past, I'll tell you one thing. And I can tell you something, when you are like at death's door and you get, you know, blood transfusion, it is like life going into your veins. I mean, I, I couldn't explain it. I used to get so excited when I would get it because I used to feel so terrible back then. It's amazing where I've been and all that I've been through and how the Lord has really given me such strength in my older days, my elder years, because I've probably just come to terms with more of what's happened. But so I, um, you know, I did this video, this burnt hair thing, and um, it's, uh, it's something else. Just so you know that I'm not making up stories, I'm going to play it for you. It's only a couple of minutes. But you see here, 66 weeks. Oh, and by the way, there, there's, there's the math. So I'm not making up stories. See that? You see that right there? Hopefully you see it okay. And here we go, gangster Sam Bankman Freed, pictured in jail. He's alongside members of a gang. And they say that he is weird as something something all right so let's take a look at this and uh, certainly turned in take a listen because i believe that this is going to be pertinent considering i did this 66 weeks and six days ago and i said burn hair burns his hair was um you know a thing and if people are having by the way a lot of people are saying they're having problems with super chat you know there's in the links you can always go there's paypal there's um there's other ways to support um, I appreciate it, and if you can't, don't worry about it, you know? That like game over sign, it certainly turned into a lot of uh, headlines. Game over, FTX. Game over for Sam Bakeman Freed. Freed is his name. I look at that name, Freed, and I see Fried. And I see Sam, the bank man, Fried. Sam which comes from Samuel, God hears or um, you hear God say, because that's how they got the name Samuel. He was calling out for uh, the prophet when the prophet was a baby. And um, so we hear God say, or we hear God, or God hears the bank man fried. Burnt. Burnt. Burned. Crypto burn. That's actually a thing. Ironic. Ironic that this happens. Not as ironic as the fact that it happened on 11-11. That thumbnail sort of describes perfectly what happened on 11-11 with Sam Bankman Freed's company and the other ones, the hedge fund, the Almeida and all this. We're going to get into all of it. It's very strange to me. Now, you do know that on the show, I've talked about hair. Hair, spiritually speaking, is the outermost part of us. It's symbolic of the fact that of, of, of like things, carnal things that we put our trust in. What do you put your trust in? In God, we trust. No, we trust in money, sadly. We trust in our finance, sadly. That would be hair. When you lose a lot of money, you know what they call it? It's a haircut. It's a haircut. And I've been talking about this haircut that was coming. I didn't think it had anything to do with finance, of course. I thought that it had to do more with, you know, spiritually within getting rid of that carnal nature within all of us. But this right here, man, it opens the door to a lot of stuff. It really does. The fact that Elon shared his little perfume about burnt hair with a comet, with a meteor, in the actual title, which we've discussed on the show probably in depth. Strange, because being burnt is exactly what they're describing the situation as. 20 billionaires got burnt 
investors got burnt. Crypto burn. It's like a thing. Wow, right? Leave the old world behind. Very, very interesting. 66, 66 weeks and six. That's nuts. It's nuts. So they got this thing called the debt clock. I don't know if you know anything about it. You probably do. If you're watching on the channel, you know. I predicted a couple of them. That's right. Put out these little things called tests. This is a test. You all should catch up. Go back to my videos. I I was um I was away. We were visiting my mother-in-law who paid for a flight for us to go out and visit in Florida, and it was awesome. It was just so awesome. We hadn't been away in so many years. Eight years, literally. I took a picture, I shared it on Patreon, where you see us on the plane eight years ago and us on the plane this year. It was almost identical, except for I have a lot of grace. I have a lot of grace. But the deck clock. They've been talking about a flip of the financial system for a while now. Their latest was leave the old world behind. And if you look, you'll see wealth as that upside down M, the W, the lowercase Omega. This is all incredibly interesting to me because we're entering into a new era. And if you look at the deck clock, it says on the left, it says wealth and freedom. And on the right, it says debt and serfdom. This is what I've been talking about. The flip, the switch. Now, this is where it gets weird. Because then I, I got to get back. I got to get back to what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. A lot of weird things going on. A lot of weird things. Like I've been down the rabbit hole before with all of this. I did a video called The Royal Sussexes, which had to do with burnt hair too. Harry and um, Megan, I guess is her name. All this stuff about the king is he's going to be abdicating his throne. Who's going to take over? Would it be interesting if it was red-haired Harry? That would be interesting because, of course, they say that he is the child of Diana and her tennis coach. I don't know if that's true. They do look a lot alike. But that would be interesting, and that would be a flip. A usurper bloodline gets usurped by another bloodline. That could be what's happening. I don't know if it's happening, but I do know that 77 is 666 on X was at Jacobing me a bunch of times to tell me Rothschild died 17 months and 17 days after Elizabeth. And Elizabeth died 17 months after Prince Philip who died on the 9th of April, on the 99th day of the year, at age 99. Upside down, 666. Aleister Crowley died 17 months and 17 days after Donald Trump's birth. I didn't fact check that, but it sounded good. The other stuff I did fact check. But I figured, you know what? He was so adamant, or she was so adamant about sharing this with me, I figured that I would just share it and... Hopefully it cheered you up, 777 is 666. But King Charles needed a laugh because he's going through some health issues. Somebody sent him a card saying, at least you don't have to wear a cone. And that lady's name is Miss Muffet. I put out a little post. I said, oh, I guess little Miss Muffet's not scared of the spider anymore. Interesting. Down the rabbit hole we go. Two weeks ago, Bad Omen, King Charles stepping down, revealed at the coronation. Taylor Swift and the 13 and the Midnight. It's all coming together. Because at midnight, it's when Christ calls. Everything's being flipped. When God comes, when everything's flipped on its head. And that's why I have Nicholas reaching out to me saying, oh my goodness, look at this flip. You know, maybe Trump's shoes are the new flip-flop. Barbie's got a new hot pink flip phone. There was a pair, the BBC put out this article today, that were fined after 11 customers broke their backs at Flip Out. Stranger Things VR, if you saw my last video, you know that it is now available. You can play the part of Vecna. You can be the weirdo 
evil guy. If you want. If you want. I'm not a huge fan of the show, so I don't know that that much about it. But I do know that I just Googled before I came on here, flip. And I got Joe Rogan flipping out because he saw Tesla's robot walking around. I got Shane Gillis flip the script. I got flights after high winds flipped over small planes. I got the coin flip that the Super Bowl is now on the auction block. And I got Democrats flipping the border issue on its head. Not to mention the huge news coming out from Audi. They're about to do a massive U-turn on vehicles. And then Jordan Peterson, who I cannot stand. Sorry, I don't like him. I don't like him because he's an angry, hateful person. He seems that way to me. He seems that way. So much division. So much division. If you don't see enough compassion, you don't see enough tolerance, you don't see enough, you know, if you, if you don't find somebody that's going to build a bridge, but it's going to tear down somebody, I'm not a fan. I got to be honest, I'm not a fan, but the flip is happening. This is what happened when Jesus walked into the temple. He was not happy. He walked into the temple of God and he saw all those that were selling. They were selling the sacrifice, the pigeons, they were selling the doves, they were selling the sheep. And he saw it. And they were taking people's money. If you had money from another country or you had money from another area and it wasn't temple money, they had to switch. They had to flip the uh, the currency to accommodate. And they made a little money. It was all about making money. It was all about profiting. And that's what it is today. That's why you see hateful people have done a great job. And they've soared. I had a dream just two nights ago. And some you know, ritzy, titsy guy and uh, another guy, they looked like executives. For some reason, I thought they were executives from YouTube. And he said to me, he said to me, you keep grinding because you're about to be brought to the next level. That's why I'm doing a live show. (laughs) I want to get to that next level. (laughs) I want to reach more people. I want to encourage more people. I love doing this. And I'm trusting God (laughs) because it takes a lot of faith. And a lot of hard work. And it takes all of you. Because this is something that we're doing together. Something we're, And it works. My God. You know, I don't share, you know, the uh, the pictures of the people that get the tattoos and, the, and and name their babies after. Like, I have people naming. Anthony, send me this email. It sends me all these emails. And, I, like, it's hard for me to keep up with all the emails. It tells me he named his child after me. Him and his wife, they named his child after me. Because I guess... I've been an encouragement to their relationship. I've been an encouragement over the years to their life. And they, they, they're very happy now. And I just, I was blown away, but they didn't know. I almost hit delete because I've got so many emails and I'm like, ah, I can't do that to Anthony. He sent so many emails. I can't delete that. I just can't keep up. Can't keep up. I'm so grateful for you all, but I'm telling you, listen, it's been flipped. Jesus went into the temple of God. And he cast out those that sold and bought in the temple. He overthrew the tables, flipped them over. You know what it means to overthrow something? Remember we talked about on the last show. If you haven't seen the last show, you should go see it. The tipping point. It's been reached. It's here in AI. Tipping point's been reached. When you overthrow something, you turn it over completely. From the robbers to those that had been stolen from. It's a complete switch. It's a M to a W, just like McDonald's. And he said to them, my house, KG Williams, you know this. Thank you for the super chat. He says, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you've made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame, they came to him in the temple. Now you get the idea. How many blind people do you know in reality? You know, think about this for a second. I'm trying to trying to learn you something. I don't know that many blind people. I don't know that many lame people. I know maybe one blind person. I know maybe one lame person. But if he's teaching in the temple and all of a sudden you get this, all the blind and the lame, you feel like there's a lot of blind people out there. There's a lot of lame people out there. It's the people that can't see the truth. It's the people that are lame to get ahead in their life. They can't move on. 
because they've stolen and they've robbed the temple of God. And they've turned us all into debt slaves. But things are being flipped on their head. Two sets of cicadas, 13 year, 17 year. Two groups of individuals are going to go through this period of time. It's going to go on for a while. The world's not going to end. I keep saying it's not going to end. It's just that you want to be in the good fruit, not the bad fruit. Because the bad fruit's going to go through a hard, hard time. The blind and the lame, those that couldn't see the truth, those that couldn't move on with their lives in the truth, they were healed. And guess what? All those people that were like big-time influencers in the religious world, the chief priests and the scribes, they saw all the wonderful things that Christ did. And the children crying in the temple saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Well, they were not happy. They were unhappy because they knew things were flipped. And said unto him, do you hear what these children are saying? Jesus said, you've never read? Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, you've perfected praise. That's all of you. That's all of you. It's not about a bunch of children. It's about a bunch of people that didn't, they were robbed. They never heard the truth of God. And they start to feel it and they start to hear it. And next thing you know, they're saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's the day we're in. And that is a beautiful day to be in. And that's all of you. You may not feel like you got it all under control. I don't have it under control. I have no control. Jesus had no control. He said, I can do nothing of myself. The things that I say are what the Lord tells me to say. And it's not Lord Rothschild doing the telling. Turns over the tables. And then Christ leaves them. And then he went into a city called Bethany and he lodged there. Now in the morning he returned to the city and he hungered. Now this people... This is where I think we're going next. Oh, I can't wait. I hope it's like, like I don't know, there's some kind of dates in between, like, you know, 22 days or 111 or something. Because I think what's coming next, I think the religious system, it's already getting tweaked. I think it's going to be turned upside down on its head. I really do. Because listen to what happens next. After he overturns the money tables... He leaves and goes to a place called Bethany. He's hungry for the truth because that's basically what it is. He's hungry for the truth. Like we're all hungry for the truth. The, uh, the, the day that I understood that the fig tree that Christ withered was not a literal fig tree. And he said, oh, curse you fig tree. There's no figs for me to eat. Like, really? Really? I'd just say, if this was like an event, maybe it had literally happened. But I would say, Jesus, you're being weird, man. You know, maybe we'll find a fig tree to Ezra. He's talking about the fig tree, which is supposed to be the people that are supposed to be singing praises to God. It's supposed to be a picture of the, the Israel of the world. The fig tree producing no fruit. And I'll tell you how I knew. Because there was one day when I was having a hard time before I got custody of my children. I raised my children. I, uh, I was full single full-time daddy. But, you know, for a moment, for about six months, I was split in custody and my children were not in a good way. Luckily, everything worked out. My ex lives in, in California. She's awesome. She loves the kids so much. Everything works out. Everything works out, you know. But at the time, it was not good. There was a bad person around my children's life. I didn't know how I was going to get my children I didn't have money for lawyers. I didn't have money for it. And, 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 and the Lord took care of it. The Lord took care of it and it all worked out. And man, that, that was something else. But at the time I was, I was bummed out and I was like, I needed to go to, a, I was like looking for a church. I wanted to go to a church to pray and they were all closed. So I got this idea. I'm going to go to the beach and I had my Bible. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to read. And I just flipped through the and I landed on this very passage, and I learned that the fig tree had nothing to do with a literal fig tree for me. 
It meant I needed spiritual encouragement. I went to churches. They were closed. And I said, curse them. They will never produce fruit for me again. I'm going to go to the vine, baby. I'm going to go to the Lord. And ever since then, oh, I've been getting the fruit. And I share the fruit with all of you. And I hope that you're enjoying it. And he saw the fig tree in the way. Notice how it's in the way. Notice what's in the way. And he came to it. And he found nothing there. Just leaves. Do you know what the leaves, the fig leaves covered? Tell me in a live chat. Leave a comment below. Let me see how smart you are. What did fig leaves, what were they used for? To cover a person's nakedness. I go to church every Sunday. I tithe. I set up the chairs. But yet I'm miserable and I hate my family. I'm miserable at my job. But I go to church. You're wearing the fig leaves. No fruit. No fruit. Find the joy in what you do. God placed you there. Find the joy. Be a blessing. Be the best person that mops that floor. Be the best person that cleans that toilet. When I sold mattresses, because I was in TV for years, WWE, Christian TV, and then I went and I sold mattresses because I knew one day the Lord would bring me these speckled sheep, the people that, you know, just like Jacob had his speckled sheep. He worked for Laban, the sheep shearer. He was a shepherd for Laban's sheep. I worked for the Christian television network. I wrote the copy. I did all the stuff. Give me the speckled sheep. Give me the people that are, you know, that the religious system doesn't want. And then here I am. Thanks to the grace of God. Nothing to do with me. He saw that fig tree was in the way. He came to it. He found nothing on it but leaves. He said, let no fruit grow on this henceforward. And presently to this day, the religious system has produced nothing. Nothing. When the disciples saw that, they marveled, saying, How soon is this fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said to them, Verily I say to you, which means truly, If you have faith and you doubt not, if you have faith and don't doubt, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also you shall say to the mountain that's before you right now, the debt that you have, the issues with your health that you have, the issues with your family that you have, the issues with your neighbor that you have, the issues with your people that you work with that you have. You can say to this mountain, be removed, and it'll obey you. We're the children of God, people. We just forgot. Christ rises again to remind us he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. So get life, baby. All right, we got a lot of people here. Do me a favor. I appreciate all of you. I hope that you love this show. I love this show. Personally, I loved it. I thought this show was great. I'm going to go on Truth Seeker Show in about a half an hour. Hopefully I'll have a voice because I didn't want to hold back for all of you. So, um, you know, go, if, you, if you want, please share the channel around. Please do get yourself a copy of The Calling. Please do. Get a physical copy. I give out, listen, if you can't afford it, if you really can't afford it, only if you really can't afford it. If you spend $20 on something else, like, a, you know, coffee or you go out and you buy lunch, and, and then you're going to come to me and say, get, you know, I, get a physical copy in your hand. I'll send you an ebook. You can email me. I do. I send out free copies. If you want to read it and you can't afford whatever it is, I think it's like 18 bucks on sale right now, um, email me. The links are in the description below, but only if you can't afford it. Really, because I want you to have a copy in your hand. I want you to have, because this is one of these things where you're going to want to highlight. I have a feeling this is going to be a, uh, it's going to be a keepsake. Indeed. All right. I love each and every one of you. Have the best day ever. Shalom, shalom. 
which is what Michael just said in the live chat. That's so beautiful. Shalom is a wonderful thing to say. Um, all right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Have the best day ever. Share the video around. Make sure you're subscribed. Like, comment. Have the best.